So my husband said, why don't you just build a little vanity and then put a base and sink on the top of it? Oh sure babe, I'll just whip that together. A few days ago I changed out the faucet and in doing so, I jostled the pedestal sink loose. Turns out this thing is actually only attached to the wall with drywall anchors because there's no studs right where it needs to be screwed in. There was a little bit of glue back there as well, but honestly I am shocked that it's made it this far without falling apart. You know, one thing though that I really did get very lucky with is that this piece of birch that I have left over from a desk that I made for my daughter for Christmas is actually the perfect size to fit here. So uh, I'm pretty thrilled about that and it makes me feel like maybe my husband's right. I started off by downloading a plan from AnnaWhite.com. It's a great place to at least get started and to get a basic rough idea of what you want to do, but I have no doubt that I'm going to go completely off book. One thing I'm already doing differently is that the plan called for four four by fours as the legs. And I don't know about you, but I have a hard time finding four by fours that aren't either pressure treated or cedar. So what I'm gonna do instead is to just double up on my two by fours so that it basically makes more or less a four by four. And since you're only gonna be seeing it from the front, I don't think it's really even gonna show at all. I've been going for more of a beachy, rustic look in this bathroom, and so instead of going for the common boards or the select boards that are more refined, I'm just using standard lumber, which is also has the benefit of being a lot cheaper. As always, you have to really dig in there and find the nice pieces that aren't warped or have knots in bad places, and that can take a little bit of effort. Now this piece of birch, on the other hand, is actually quite nice and quite polished, but it has this raw edge on the front of it because it's plywood essentially and it's pressed together so you can see those lines in here. So instead of having it like that, I just bought a little piece of trim and I'm going to glue that right there. That way it's got a nice finish here on the front and you don't see those raw edges. project in my house without some kind of weird glitch. I bought this beautiful white porcelain vessel sink to sit on top of this vanity. And the faucet that I just purchased and can't return because I've thrown out all the packaging is not tall enough to clear it because I got a nice deep one to keep the water from splashing around so much. So in order to use that faucet, I'm gonna have to build up the back of the vanity a little bit higher so that the faucet actually has enough clearance to get over the edge of the basin. The top of this vanity is just going to be natural wood, but of course it needs a top coat to keep it as waterproof as possible since it is a bathroom. And so I went online and I did some research on what would be the best thing to use. 
and I was astonished at how many different opinions there are on this subject. But what I decided to go with is Minwax Helmsman. This is a spar urethane, which is the kind of stuff that they use on boats. So I figured that was probably going to be the best thing. And I got clear satin because I really don't want it to be shiny. I'm gonna do on this top is to buff it up with some 3000 grit sandpaper. I didn't even know such a thing existed. It doesn't even feel like sandpaper, it just kind of feels nice and smooth. Last night I really thought that I was going to be done with this project and I was so excited and unfortunately I ended up hitting another hiccup with the drain. This piece, which is I think called the J-trap, sticks out of the wall right here and I already knew that this sink was going to sit farther out of the wall than the pedestal sink did so I had preemptively purchased a longer J-trap just in case and I figured I would just cut it to the length that I needed it. Unfortunately, this is also still too short. So I had to go back and buy an extender piece, which I will glue into place and then place where it needs to go. Also, I found out that this piece, which sticks right there as an extension to the drain, is also now too short because I changed the height of the sink and therefore the drain. So I had to go out and buy a new extension tube and then I will cut this to the right length that I need so that everything fits into place. You, but your breath always smells like butt. Psst. Hey, you! Click subscribe or the dog gets it! <laughs> Never in a million years. Never in a million years.